everybody welcome to another video from heart patient health system nice to be talking lovely August morning and this one is dedicated to the cardiac teams at Southampton General as a very close relative of mine has just undergone a double heart bypass surgery very complex surgery and uh, great it was a total success so whilst I'm on about uh, Southampton General there was a really interesting study done there by Dr Wald and his team David Wald and his colleagues and they did a study which involved 20,000 people with a chemical called homocysteine. Now homocysteine is what no one talks about that everybody should be talking about. When I started my video vlogs I told you by the time I'd finished I'd proved to you that cholesterol was not the bad guy and there was nothing to be for you to be concerned about and there were other things that you should be concerned about so that's what we're going to talk about today as you can see I have a range of products which I'm going to lead on to okay all you art patients kaboom thanks for joining me boom this is a place to be for art elf without a doubt okay like I said Southampton General uh, did a study it was led by David Wald and his colleagues and it was all to do with a chemical called homocysteine now homocysteine is a breakdown of an amino acid methionine it's a, just a protein breakdown now homocysteine should be converted into a glutathione the antioxidant now if you've watched my other videos I'm always talking about antioxidants because antioxidants donate electrons and stop oxidation they stop problems within you before they start and so antioxidants well glutathione should be in all your cells protecting you so we've got homocysteine converted into glutathione or another special ingredient and that other special ingredient is called SAM SAM is an acronym now the acronym is S adenosyl methionine that it's an acronym for S adenosyl methionine and I'm just going to call it SAM because everybody calls it SAM now what's special about the chemical SAM is it's a methyl donor and methylation is quite simply this if I tell you how dangerous homocysteine is immediately your heart rate goes up because you're in fear and you've produced adrenaline to make that happen almost immediately immediately via a system like I talked about before the parasympathetic system the nerves into the hormones I've talked about that before haven't I with heart problems so you can see how quickly that happened right then if I tell you but I've got the answer for it also then your heart rate automatically comes down well that's a prime example right of a methyl donation because you've just had a methyl donation from SAM to convert adrenaline into noradrenaline and that's calmed you down so that's how SAM works it's a methyl donor and what I'm going to talk about today is so interesting because it can lengthen your life and it is it will have a direct impact on your life if you don't get this bit of science right it's far more important 
than cholesterol ever will be right and it's far more important than blood pressures and I'm not saying blood pressures are not important and by the way I'm going to cover blood pressures but it's far more threatening to how long you're in this game of life far more threatening so okay we know we've got homocysteine a product that's broken down from protein and it gets converted into um, SAM or glutathione both highly protective of your system now what's interesting here is if you've got low levels of homocysteine you are converting them into glutathione the antioxidant for the cells and you're converting them into SAM on an ideal basis but they never measure right your doctor never measures homocysteine levels you can have them measured why I do not know why they don't measure H levels I'm going to call it H levels I don't know guys and I, you know I don't know going back to Southampton General David Wald and his colleagues found that um, a five unit increase increases your risk of an heart attack or an heart problem by 35% now the figures I came across in my research was that the average units of people were running in the UK was 12 to 15 now a safe level of units is said to be below 6 so homocysteine levels of that can be very very worrying for people now also linked to homocysteine levels was some studies done by a Japanese guy at a university in Japan I put the name just here because I don't remember the name I'll pop it up here um, and this guy was Dr. Matsu Toshifumi. Dr. Matsu Toshifumi. And he was doing studies with people with um, Alzheimer's. And there was a direct link with all the brain scans he did with people with Alzheimer's was directly linked to high levels of again homocysteine now homocysteine right is almost inevitably running high levels in people who've got insulin problems and we come to diabetes so if you're a diabetic like I said before in my previous videos you're more likely to have a heart attack if you're a diabetic because insulin stops you high levels of insulin stop the production uh, stop homocysteine levels from being reduced if you are diabetic so it's, that can be a worry if you're diabetic and you're watching this you really really want to address it through this like I was saying before um, you are at risk of a heart related problem if you're a diabetic because you will have high levels of homocysteine and like I'm saying they do not test for homocysteine okay now what causes homocysteine not to be converted and this is what we need to address hence the products right well needed for the conversion of homocysteine into glutathione the antioxidant it should be protecting you all your cells right powerful antioxidant I've also spoke about glutathione before and your body can make it from selenium a trace mineral and SAM 
as a methyl dung. Right? What we need to make this happen, homocysteine to glutathione or SAM, is B vitamins. It's that simple. B vitamins. So if you're looking for, here we go, if you're looking for, now, if you're a heart patient, guys, you should be leaving, you should be on a plant-based diet, without a doubt. It will help you so much, right? A plant-based diet. Now I'll come on to more of this when I go in the kitchen and I'll start making recipes and making smoothies and show you how you get into a plant-based diet. But you should be looking towards a plant-based diet. So broccoli, B vitamins. Um, the highest fruit I do believe for B vitamins is watermelon. And B vitamins. Products, supplements, a fantastic supplement, right? And I don't get paid, it's not product placement. I'm not paid for this, guys. Fantastic supplement that I put in all my green smoothies, right? Is uh, blue green algae spirulina, absolutely loaded with B vitamins. Now, I did make my own version, didn't I, when I was at the seaside? Um, and I got some lava seaweed and some bladderwrack seaweed and turned them into my supplement, right? To help me through the supplement to help me through the winter season. Wow, powerful stuff. Again, extremely high in beta glucans and B vitamins to make the conversion of homocysteine because like I'm saying here guys homocysteine levels are extremely dangerous they're directly right they're a direct cause of heart attacks and heart problems they're a direct cause of Alzheimer's they are at the top of the list who would have thought it a protein byproduct that's not been reconverted become becomes really really dangerous to you so that's that's the version a cheap version I made from the seaside now I thought I'd add this because what destroys your B vitamins because B vitamins are water soluble and you need a constant supply every day just like vitamin C okay alcohol right alcohol destroys B vitamins okay Boom. so keep an eye on your alcohol content right that's about it guys nice for talking to you on that right it's quite simply done lower your levels of homocysteine you need B vitamins now of late is also a trend in people trying to sell TMG trimethylglycines which are a fancy term for betanes betanes are also available they also make the conversion betanes and B vitamins your body will use either right Betanes in beets, that's why I put beets in my green smoothies. Beetroot. Betanes are also available in quinoa uh, if you use that ancient grain. Um, so, plant based diet, B vitamins is what you're looking for. B vitamins make the conversion needed for the conversion of homocysteine turns it into some really really fantastic glutathione the antioxidant and some methylation 